Om Shanti, welcome back. And today we're doing the recording of 2nd of August. And in this blessing, Supreme Godfather wants us to become a Karma Yogi who has the zeal and enthusiasm and is a tireless server just like the Father. So let's understand what does God have to say over here. Baba says, May you be a Karma Yogi who experiences zeal, enthusiasm, and tirelessness with the Father's help. So because Karma Yogi children have the father's company as they act, they receive extra help. No matter how difficult some work may be, father's help gives you zeal, enthusiasm, courage and the power to be tireless. Any task that is done with zeal and enthusiasm will definitely be successful. The father doesn't do any work with his own hands, but he definitely does the work of giving help. If you have the Karma Yogi stage of just you and the father, you will never feel tired. So remembering the father or remembering the creator helps us become completely tireless and enthusiastic. Now this is an energy exchange which happens between the Supreme Father and us souls. So this is something which needs to be experienced. Even the first time when I was into meditation in Brahma Kumaris, I was questioning this. How can this happen? How can I feel tireless when I'm in remembrance of Godfather? So what exactly is that kind of feeling where I am actually connected to the Supreme Creator? I'm speaking to Him, connected with Him. And at the same time, I'm doing my own work. I'm doing my own karma. How can I be so powerful, so strong? that nothing can actually affect me, even if something goes wrong. I'm quickly able to jump back, quickly able to bring back my complete mindset to a positive mindset. So I was thinking all those things. And how did it happen? One day, I was working and I was at the same time moving faster in my work. I was walking and I came back. I was doing all these activities, I was doing all this work of moving ahead, coming back, going and then coming back in that same location and I was in tune, I was thinking to myself that I am a being who is making this body move and I am in love with the Supreme Creator. He is there with me, nobody else matters. Automatically I was not looking at anybody's negativity, automatically the work was getting done, it was a teamwork. And the work was getting done automatically. I was in a joyous state. Why? Because I was not making fun of anything, finding fault in anybody, pushing things, pushing people around, or wanting or desiring anything from people so that the work gets done. It was a faster method of getting things done. Otherwise, I would have focused on others instead of focusing on my tasks and I would have made it more difficult. So my focus was completely on the Supreme Creator and nobody else. So that was one thing which helped me out. In the second situation where I was walking, coming back, this was for my own jogging. This was for my own walking and exercising. And I was in remembrance of the Supreme Creator. Being a yoga teacher, I was focusing on myself instead of focusing on the different students ahead of me. So when I was focusing on myself as a yoga teacher, I was able to just be concerned about me and the Supreme Creator and even the body felt so lighter because my attention was not at them. I knew that my attention can go to them. I also knew that their attention is on to me. But I was totally detached from that attention which they were giving me. And that's the time I felt completely bodiless. I felt as if some energy has taken me over. And the third time was when I was giving a lecture at one of the schools. And I was like, Father, be with me and all the angels, please be with me because that's the only method I can have power and I can have stability of my mind. And that's when I also felt that, yes, when I'm thinking of him and leaving everything on to him, I become more powerful, more zealous, I become more concentrated. My energies as a soul are not diverted in so many directions and I'm becoming more and more as a being who is having complete focus on that situation. And that helped me a lot. That made me more powerful, and that made me more zealous, and that made me more enthusiastic. 
and this is what i have experienced in my life and every single day i experience that even if people are quarreling around you people are calling names people are saying certain things to each other my focus is only on the supreme creator and myself nothing else so this is a practice which takes some time couple of years you too can practice that you too can do it at brahma kumaris and this is what we learn how to connect with the supreme being without getting affected by the environment around us or the people around us or the situations around us and that makes us more powerful in everything and this is what we learn in brahma kumaris which makes our mental state more zealous more enthusiastic and the task at hand can be finished quickly with this om shanti